So I have an idea. I've never been much into vlogging. It seemed like a lot of work. I watch Casey every day. He's also a big inspiration as far as where I'm going right now. But I watch Casey every day and I just imagine the amount of work he puts into putting together a 10 minute narrative on a day to day. And I've been considering an idea. Tell me what you think. I don't like to do vlogging in the way that it's not necessarily a build video and I couldn't really incorporate a build video into a vlogging video. But I'm developing a concept, kind of like if I take my Snapchat, many of you watch my Snapchat, and in my Snapchat, I do day-to-day -day stuff. I show a little bit of what me and Taylor are doing behind the scenes. I show my animals. And that's easy and spontaneous. But I'm gonna try and maybe do a little bit more of a commitment. I'll do some vlog style videos leading up to a standalone build video. So you get to see some behind the scenes of things that will never make a video, except for this vlog. Uh, some of my client work, but I will absolutely incorporate little bits and pieces of, say for instance, the Canon build. The uh, Canon I've been working on is taking some time. A lot of people are always curious, how long does it take? How many hours is into this? And a build like the Canon is very involved and very long, mostly because I was taking a very cautious approach to the design. The physical aspect of cutting it and doing it is it was a lot easier for me than the concept of being sure that I was approaching the design correctly, or at least something that I felt confident about. I'm not always so worried about accuracy when it comes to making something, especially when I'm duplicating an existing object. I kind of like to put a little bit of my own design sense into it. And so with the Canon build, I spent a lot of time researching and looking at other Canons, trying to make a, an overall generic version of a Canon that also had some sex appeal and I feel like I've achieved it here's the Canon some details on there I didn't want to overdo it with the details it's not a hundred percent historically accurate but I like the way it came out it's simple and I think it's pretty sexy and my favorite part is the fact that these raised ribs are all polished and that this has a texture on it that's something I learned by accident in the process of doing this I did a rough cut and then I was going to go back in and polish it but I like the rough cut and I can keep the rough cut without it deteriorating if I just give it a light rub with triple zero steel wool this is basically an offshoot of my snapchat which is very fun from time to time. Snapchat's easy because I don't have to go back and edit it. So like I said, this is more of a commitment in time and energy, but it's definitely a move away from my, my private work more into a commitment for YouTube. It's a move in the right direction for me and my channel. And uh, I feel that's where the future is and absolutely gonna credit about 500 fans that tell me on a daily basis that they wanna see this. I'm sure there's a lot more that want to see it but haven't told me. So thank you to, for the love and support. Thank you for all the Patreon support. There's also going to be a lot of flavor of New York. You'll see lots and lots of New York flavor. Hang on a second. I got a little business to do. What's up, my friend? What's up? Thank you very much. You're welcome, man. Lots of people here in New York to get to know. Driving through East Williamsburg, Brooklyn right now. I'm going to a job in Long Island. Uh, and in that job, I am going to be finishing up a fence I started last week on Snapchat. Will it be a build video? I don't know. There's gonna be one section of it that might be a build video, and right now I'm deciding that on camera. I have to make a blackboard. There's gonna be a chalkboard in, involved in this little, it's an outdoor learning area called the Learning Logs at a school in Long Island. And my sister's son goes there, and that's how I got involved. And they want to make a chalkboard, and I came up with this sort of Adirondack style framework, which I might make my core video this month. So if that happens, you'll see some of that incorporated into this as well. So, my sister. Hi. Surprise visit to my sister. Yes, hi. Hi. Talking about you. I was just showing Brian. Hi. Hi. So, 
This is Brian. Is hey, Jimmy. Jimmy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Cool. Cool. This typesetter drawer is insane. Isn't it great? Holy shit! And you got everything filled. <laughs> you know, do you know, do you know where good. everything is? Yeah. Holy shit! This I is, thought I was a hoarder. This is all. This is all things I need right away, like clasps and jump rings and chains. And everything's silver and gold. That's all mixed. And then this drawer is all silver. Castings you've had. Castings, things like models. That was the original that was then cast. This is all brass. Oh, wow. Some of my castings, some circles that I've purchased. And when are you going on YouTube, everybody asks me? Very soon. You I have to clean my desk. You've seen my desk. It's a little messy. It looks good, though. It looks like you're busy. This was my effort to block the stuff, so the video from the other day was to hide, I don't think to hide that section. Just get a 300 millimeter lens and focus right on what you're doing. That's all you need to do. This is a diamond ring that I was sizing today. Wow. And the metal was thinner than I thought. You melted through? A little bit. <laughs> so but you could fix that, right? Fix that. And even though diamonds can take the heat, this protects the diamond oh, that's so that like the little... heat doesn't hit. It's called a heat shield. Oh, cool. This is the solder, and this is the flux that I use. Tubes and tubes. It's funny, you have metal. a whole ton of shit on a small scale. Exactly. And a ton of shit on a big scale. And then here's my bigger torches. We can melt something for the camera. Oh my god, that's so cool. Show that again. So this is an electric striker, or battery-operated striker. That is so cool. I never even saw one. Isn't that great? Hard. So what do you just run an acid, acid, acid acetylene? It's a acetylene mixed with air. So, so is it it's mixed only in one, the can already? Yeah, it's called atmospheric. So once you strike it, it mixes with the oxygen in the air. Because it's not giving me. It's one. Not giving right. wisps. And then it's opposed to this one is oxygen and acetylene, and you have to adjust them right. separately. This tank is out at the moment. So let's see what we can melt. Metal, it naturally balls up. You can actually so you could play. use that again, even though you're balling it. Yeah. And that's what you actually access all these little scraps on the table on a daily basis. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They all like, become something. It looks like mess, but it's really all useful. Exactly. I'll oh, go right through on. all this. And you mix that sometimes with like granulated stone or. Yeah, color. I can mix it with like crushed eyeshadow or glass powder and make a resin. So this is sterling silver dome soldered to a wire, and then I cut tubing. Uh -huh. Put them in the domes and then used a two part epoxy mixed with different color eyeshadows. <laughs> That's cool. To make this ring. That's good. It's like something Nana would have worn. Yeah. <laughs> you took these two? Yep. Wow, incredible. Who's printing Thank them on you. that canvas like that for you? CG Pro Prints. Oh, That's one of my creations. There's Dylan. It's funny. It's like a cupid doll. Though. Yeah. <laughs> Here's all my orders I have to finish. And you don't do shows as much anymore. Right. I, so I would love to find the right craft show. She used to do shows, but now she just stays here all the time. It's better. Right here. <laughs> oh, wow. This is my latest creations, painting. Oh, wow. You're doing like stencil paint. Yeah. And you took that picture too? Yep. That's from and that. Yep. St. John, Yost Van Dyke Island, actually. St. Martin. And then look at this. This is your neighborhood. I noticed that right away. I thought it was a painting when I so, walked in. So, collage from Instagram. This John Lennon painting is at the Hotel Indigo on Ludlow. <laughs> Cats awesome. and Radio City. So if you look close, they're merged. And that's Yost Van Dyke. Very cool. Wow. Some of those are with the D700 Nikon. You can get selective focus like this with no, a... No, that's uh, the D700. Okay, I was just wondering if you did yeah. yeah, nice. Retro Jimmy. Did yeah. I make that? Yep. I did this? Yep. <laughs> yep, if you want to... Holy shit, when did I do this? In college. Look at the back. You were doing a lot of things that curved. So look at that action. I totally don't remember this at all. That's the consequence of getting old. <laughs> I found this at mom's house, and then here's a picture of mom. But oh, that's an wow. example of, uh, so I've used it for display, and in this case, the backdrop. I'm like blown away. I totally <laughs> don't remember doing this. I must have did it. Look how beautiful the detail and cutting it from the sides. I'm, I definitely did this in like second or third year at SVA. Got to bring that back. Wow, that's And amazing. then there's another creation or case from the base of the case. Oh yeah, I made this when we were on Attorney Street. Remember that? So you have a lot of tchotchkes from local artists here. Yes. Yeah. And of course, you're the mayor of the street. Maybe take this safe. It's been sitting here how long, huh? Uh, I'm here five years. It's been here at least that long. It's been here a hundred years. <laughs> and do we know whose it is? Ah, fuck. 
Well, nothing oil won't fix. I'm not taking it today. This is the back of Kathleen's store right here. These are the steps. Risk your life. Is anybody going to miss this? Long Island is not one of my most favorite places to drive on. Since I was a kid, there seems to be about 50 times more cars on Long Island. And everywhere you go, there's a traffic jam. And Long Island Expressway is one of the biggest ones, and that's where I am. I'm about 25 miles from New York. It's gonna take me probably two hours to get to the city. So this is the tradition in New York. Once you move your car, you're gone for the day. Today I was in Long Island, and now I spend an hour looking for a parking spot. There's a couple of techniques I use. I can park here until seven in the morning, then get out and move the car, and so that's the situation. Let me know what you think about a vlog. Thank you for watching.